الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So we could look at some basic benefits of Surah Al-Ma'un. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يضع اليتيم ولا يحد على تعام المسكين. وويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراؤون ويمنعون الماعون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the surah after بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم he says أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين have you seen those who deny the religion who deny the deen so Shaykh Salih bin Shaykh Muhammad bin Salih bin Uthaymin, rahimahullah Taala, mentioned in regards to this. He said, "Araita." He said that this. He said that this. Um, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is addressing. It could be that he's addressing the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or it could be in general. And he said that more uh, rightfully so that it is a general addressing to us as well. Have you seen? Uh, the one who denies the religion, the one who denies and uh, denies uh, Islam and denies the khair. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after this, this question, and this question also is in reference to those people who deny the bath, who deny Yom al Qiyamah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another verse, إِذَا مِتْنَا وَكُنَّا تُرَابٍ وَعِذَامٍ أَآئِنَا لَمَبْعُثُونَ أَوَآبَاؤُنَا الْأَوَّلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the people will, that there is a group of people that they deny the day of judgment. And as if they ridicule the day of judgment and they say, you know, will we be after we die? Will we be, and the, and the dust has covered us. Will we be get, gathered together, uh, our bones, and brought forth uh, on the day of judgment, us and our fathers and those who came before them? So this is what the people, the pagans, used to uh, say to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is that they denied the day of judgment. They denied that they would they would be resurrected after their death. And those are the people, as Sheikh uh, Ben Uthaymin mentions, those are the people who deny uh, Yom al din They're the people who deny the Day of Judgment. Those are the ones who lie and deny that they will be resurrected. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يُذُعُ الْيَتِيمِ and then this is the one that pushes away or rejects the yatim, meaning those people who have no uh, father. A yatim is an orphan, a person who has uh, no father, who their father has has died. Uh, so this is the the yatim, the orphan, and those people. Uh, another characteristic. First, that they deny the Day of Judgment and they deny uh, the religion. The second uh, characteristic, which is a characteristic that is a cursed characteristic, is that they they uh, push away the yatim, they push away the orphans. And they do not, they also do not urge others to feed the Miskeen, those people who are in need. So when it comes to giving charity, that they uh, do not help those people who are in need. And on top of that, they do not uh, uh, urge others, or they in fact may discourage others to uh, give to the people who are in need. Then Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, so then... This combines two uh, two issues here. He said the first issue is that they have a, a lack of mercy, a lack of rahmah 
for the orphan, those who are in great need of uh, of uh, Allah subhanahu wa of, of the mercy of mercy from from uh, others. And then he describes that the yatim or the orphan is the person whose father has uh, deceased, and and they they have deceased before the uh, before the child has reached the age of puberty. So, an orphan in Islam is a child is a child whose father has passed before they reach the age of puberty. After the age of puberty, they're not considered uh, an an orphan. So, they are a person who's in great need of affection and mercy and, and so forth. So the person who denies them and pushes them away, then they have done a great disservice and they have uh, pushed them away in a very direct and almost violent way, you know, very in a strong way of denying those orphans, those people who are in great need of, uh, of our mercy. And the Sheikh went on to say, then the second issue is that the person does not encourage others to be merciful to the uh, the people who are in need, the the poor, those people who uh, are in need of food and possibly shelter. So the individual who denies them is the person who does not urge, uh, who does not help them, his his or herself does not help them, and they deny others. They also discourage others from helping those people by uh, by giving them by discouraging them from feeding them, discouraging them from giving uh, uh, charity to them. And the sheikh goes on to explain, and this is because that they have a heart which is like a rock, which is like a rock which cannot be penetrated. You know, uh, a, a very hard stone. When it, when rain and, and other things uh, are deposited on that stone, it doesn't enter that stone because that stone is, is so hard and so it, it doesn't accept other uh, elements. And this is the case with the person whose heart uh, is hard, that they deny uh, doing righteous deeds and, and they maybe they are they stay strong on their position in all situations because their heart is hard, they're arrogant, even when the truth comes to them, that they're arrogant, their heart is not open, so their heart is, is unable to accept goodness. So the person who denies mercy to the orphan and the person who's impoverished, then they are, their, this is their similitude. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Woe to the people who pray. And then he describes in the next verse the details. Because he's not saying this is a, a warning to, to the people who pray. So the people who don't even pray, how much more of a severe torment will they receive? Because anytime we hear wail in the Quran or in the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, it is a stern uh, warning that what follows it is connected to a severe torment, a severe punishment. So it is a promise and a warning of a severe torment. That something that you should be cautious of and you should beware of and you should refrain from or at least take heed of, depending on the context of the uh, warning. So whenever we hear that, that, that lets us know that the sin that follows that or the person being negligent of that action is falling into the category of people who fall into major sins because it's something serious whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wail or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says wail the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said wail al-aqab min al nar said woe to the people who disregard their uh, heels and don't save them from the, the hellfire meaning the person who doesn't make complete wudu and clean their feet they leave a dry spot and they don't make their complete wudu, that it is a stern warning and a punishment for them if they do not take heed. So this is the case, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
وَيْلٌ Woe to those people who pray. So this is a warning to the people who pray. أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ These are the people who pray. However, they are uh, lazy with regards to their prayer. They're lazy with coming to the jama'ah. Or they're careless with regards to their prayer. They don't give the, the prayer its, its right. For example, they're lazy in their sujood. They're lazy when they stand for prayer. They are not paying attention during the prayer. Their mind is going everywhere. And they are, uh, they are lazy in, with regards to the, to the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the prayer. And they're, they're, they're not even aware of what, what they're doing during their prayer. So, why this is very important for us? Because these are the people who actually pray. But then they're lazy during their prayer. So it shows us it's not sufficient just to pray. You may have people who even they pray all their prayers in the masjid. But they still fit this category. They're still lazy and, and do not take heed and pay attention during their prayer. And the shaykh went on to distinguish between the person who is... Uh, the, po- the person who الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُمْ that this is the person who is regard who is takes doesn't take heed and doesn't pay attention and is lazy during their prayer from the person who uh, is makes a mistake during their prayer for example the person who may forget the amount of rakat well there's an expiation for this we make sajda to saho you know for forgetting so this person is different than the person who actually is just lazy in their prayer and they're, they're careless in their prayer and not giving the prayer its rights. This person differs from the person who makes a mistake and, is, and has forgotten something in their prayer. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ That these people are the people who pray in order to be seen by other people. So, in fact, you'll find individuals that they pray. They come and they pray all their prayers in the masjid. However, they perfect their prayer and they make their prayer, they beautify their prayer when people are watching them. So this is a very serious sin, a riya. This is showing off. And we know that this is a major sin, this sin of riya. And it is in fact a type of shirk, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in a hadith that uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, أَخْوَ فَمَا خَافُوا عَلَيْكَمْ الشِّرْكْ الْأَسْكَرْ فَقَالْ الْرِيَا And so the Prophet ﷺ said, O كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي That was mentioned in the hadith, that the, the, the thing I am most fearful for you of is the minor shirk. And then they وَسُئِلَ عَنْهُ فَقَالْ الْرِيَا And then he was asked about it, what, you know, basically, what is the minor shirk? And the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, الْرِيَا Meaning to show off. And so this shows us, and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in here, He said, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُمْ أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاعُونَ He said, so woe to the, those people who pray. So in fact, they do pray. Those people who are, basically, they come to the prayer lazily. They're lazy in their prayer and they're careless in their prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described them again with having riya, with showing off during the prayer. They pray only to be seen of the people. Maybe they came to the masjid only to be seen of the people. Or they just beautify, made their prayers uh, beautiful only to deceive the people or only to please the people instead of to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a major sin and in fact a type of shirk. So this person is not mukhlas. This person is not sincere as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us all throughout the Quran to be sincere. To be sincere in our ibadah. To, be, to pray strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To worship strictly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To do all of our actions for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in the last part of the verse, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, He said, the last character says, أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ And they prevent doing the kind deeds or kind favors. 
So the last characteristic, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing in this verse, which is a characteristic, which is a sinful characteristic and a dangerous characteristic, and may Allah forgive us for all of our shortcomings for not giving uh, 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 the people their rights, our guests and our neighbors, when they are in need of something, is to not do the small kindnesses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us to not be like those people who do not give about small uh, who do not do the small favors. Sheikh bin Uthameen, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentions in regards to this. He said that there's two, this entails two types of people. He said the first type is a person who, is, who gains a sin from this action. And the second type is the person who does not gain a sin, however, they have missed uh, some good by not doing the small kindnesses. So the first type is the one who gains a sin. This is the person who does not give the small kindness when it is an obligation to do so. So for example, if someone comes to you and they are in great need of water and drink, you know, and if they don't receive drink, they're going to get sick or they're going to die, and you, do, and you deny them this small kindness, then of course you will be sinning in this and you will fit into that category into the verse. You know, وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ That you'll, for, you'll fit into that of being the person who is rightfully deserving of a, a great uh, punishment. Why? Because you didn't give a small kindness to someone who needed that desperately, who was going to die possibly if they didn't receive that. And the second uh, division of people is a person, is, would be the one who doesn't receive a sin for not doing that small kindness, for example, your neighbor asked for uh, to borrow a pot from you, maybe, and you didn't give that pot to them. But it wasn't going to cause them any harm and so forth. You missed the opportunity to, um, to gain some reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you could have gained extra reward from Allah, gained azure, by loaning out your, your pot or giving them some sugar or something like this. But however, you are not sinful for denying them that. You are not sinful. But the person who needs that, who's a, it's a necessity for them to gain, uh, you know, that they need this small kindness and you deny them, then you will be gaining a sin and you will be rightfully deserving of the punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many shortcomings and bless us with amnafi wa rizqan tayyibu wa amalan mutaqabbilan. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد